Hey guys, Sasaki from Japan does it again at 81. An outstanding performance. Only three fights started in the quarterfinal for some reason, just not enough competitors, I guess, and the way the seating worked. But some really, really nice judo from Sasaki, so uh, let's enjoy it. The first round, well, the quarterfinal for him, two wazaris, a throw, and a little bit of a hold down, but some nice transitions. I love how he blends Tachiwaza into his Newaza. And you're going to see that in the semi-final as well. I've already made a video about it, but um, it's quite ridiculous. So, nice Seoyunagi attempt here. It looks like he was going to go into the Newaza, but decided against it. And you'll see later on, the longer this contest goes, that he just starts to get a bit more frustrated and then decides to move into the Newaza a bit more. So, here's a Wazari score here. And then, I love the Tajikistani Judoka going for a... A choke here would have been a just an incredible upset if you choked out Sasaki. He probably has some of the best Newaza in across all weight classes, I have to say. So uh, he, he, here it is now. You see him kind of moving into transitions a bit more. Nice Kochi, and then gets the back. Not going to do much from there. You got to get a pin. How often do you see someone getting submitted from the back in judo? Very, very rare. But here he is looking for a choke here. Maybe an armbar. Doesn't quite get it. And then the next exchange, this is just some, some beautiful work. Beautiful transition from Tachiwaza into Niawaza. Fighting the hands now. Goes for Azuchimata. Misses a Tomoinage, but he's onto him. Pulls him down. Obits Torigaishi, I guess. Goes into the hold, o hold down. Locking up the top. Passing the knee now with the knee slide. Into Osaikomi. So nice Kesakatame variation. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So we're moving into the semi final now. Second fight for Sasaki. And I mean, this is just. This is about as brutal as it gets, guys. And his competition, Tatalash, really. Tata was really probably the highest level competition that he fought on the entire day, but just demolished him. I mean, look at this. Tomoe Noge overthrows, and then he's straight into a choke. And I'm not sure what to call this. The legs? Not thinking about the legs. Is it a Harakajime? But, I mean, Tata Lush really is just out. He was out so quick. And the ref, I mean, the ref, he could have done better to just stop his head from falling and banging against the mat. Come on. Okay, so this is the final now. And another quick one. Rizoev, unfortunately in the final, goes out pretty quick. And if you remember Sasaki, he has a beautiful Uchimata Sakashi. Maybe Rizoev didn't do his homework. I think if you want to throw Sasaki, you kind of got to look for a sacrifice throw. Utilize your height, get your legs underneath him. And then he's going to try and bridge or flip out of it. And you just got to use that length, score of Azadi, and stay here. Because this is not going to work. Look at this. Okay, he does that so well. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, Sasaki, Oli Pons, three fights, gold, Asian champion. Amazing. Amazing. All right, guys. I'll see you later.